Hey friends, I am in the space I was hoping was still set up at Quaker Acres um, with Kyle at Relics Awry and I think you're going to be really captivated by his all his handiwork and um, so we're I'm just going to jump right into letting him show you what he's done. I'm going to back up and just pan through so you can get a quick view of his whole space here um, in the first row in Quaker Acres off the road um, and then we'll go in and he can show us some of the detail on a few of the pieces. So let me just pan through. in a little bit. Do you want to go close that one? Yeah. So we've got a surprise piece to show you too that he's demonstrating for me that I, friends who know me and my vehicles um, will know why it was pretty interesting to me. So, all right, so actually we'll go right over and take a look at that first maybe. So this is Kyle from Relics Awry. Well, hello. Tell us a bit about your business, where you're coming from. Um. My, I'm based out of Des Moines, or just south of Des Moines, Iowa, in Indianola, Iowa. So I make the long 1,200 mile trip out here three times a year to do this show. Wow. Every show I have new furniture, new different ideas. Um, what I'm known for is, is repurposing vintage automobiles into functional furniture and art. Like behind us here, we have the side of a Mustang. The, the fender's been taken off, but the entire side of the car is there, so you can hang it up on the wall. You know, it's kind of neat to have something that yeah. you know, never see a, a patina muscle car or anybody that cuts up. Right. Only one, but fortunately, I find ones that just can't be saved to go back on the road again and make it so that you can have a piece of history in your home. Yeah. So over here. Look at this. This is so great. It's a 60s Volkswagen bus. I was able to find it on a farm and it had just rotted away so bad that there was no, no able way to actually put it on back on the road. So I took it and cut it off about 15 inches deep, um, paneled yep. the back of it, add shelving to it. There's actually lighting in here so it displays real well and we don't have such a sunny day. Yep. Um, got the tail lights working on it and there's actually where the engine once, once was in it. Added more storage in there so it's kind of nice to have some hidden storage and extra sure? places to put some things. Yeah. And you said the, um, are they brake lights or whatever that they, they light up? They are lit up right now. They're lit. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's hard with the it, light. It's just hard when it's bright yeah. outside, yeah. but they Look are actually fun. all lit. Everything I do, the headlights and park lights work. This piece is actually, came from Iowa to Massachusetts. It's gonna go back to Iowa, get the other lights wired in, and yeah. then it's going to California. Wow. It's going in an ice cream shop out there. Oh, so, what a great piece for an ice cream shop too. How about the one behind you there? This the one Ford? here is the back end of about a 1950 Ford pickup. Okay. I always had the dream and idea of making a tailgate function differently than it was ever derived to do. So I cut it in half and turned it into doors. You know, good multifunctional piece. I can be a buffet, a dresser, a TV oh, yeah. stand. I've done a couple of them as um, actually wet bar and dry bar and done a bathroom vanity. Yeah. So it's just something that you can play with size and different things. Next show, I'm going to have a version like that that's actually going to be an outdoor cooler. So another piece to do, new design. That's great. Let's go to the one in the next row there sure. next. Okay. Over here, we have the front end of a 1968 Chevelle. Um, headlights are working on this. So unfortunately and unfortunately, the cars that I find, like I said, are just so bad you can't put them on the road. Yeah. Um, I know the gentleman that used to actually ride around in this car in high school with his buddy, and his buddy wrecked it, and then it sat in his junkyard for 30 years. And I was able to go in and save the front clip because it was too far gone for restoration and turn it into a piece that you can have at home now. What a story. And take a look at this. What a concept. Who would have ever thought? Like, I, don't, I can't say I've seen anybody consider doing something like this with the front end of a car. Gotta do and the story different. behind it just makes it that much more um, almost everything typically fun. has a story as far as I can track it down and find one yeah um, but something like this Mustang yeah. unfortunately there's not a real story but okay you know the just cool the character is, and the colors and the whole design around you know, it the taillights work in this but it, I just started getting things unplugged yeah but it actually shows that it at one point in time was at a community college in North Carolina so that's kind of, it's interesting sometimes you find stickers on things where cars have been in one location and find their way to me in Iowa. I bought right. a, a 57 Chevy that was on, um, and it, it had been on an Air Force base in Florida and found its way to Iowa and made it into some pieces of furniture. Did a couple couches and a bar out of it. Like over here, I also do upholstered pieces. Oh, that piece too I had seen that I wanted you to showcase. I'm so glad you pointed it out. It Look a, at this. Back of a 49 Ford. 
real kind of iconic car for anybody that's in the hot rodding or anything of that era. Yeah. So it's it's actual real leather that's on it. So one thing I don't do is the leather work. I do have to source out to have that done. Yeah. But all the woodwork, metal work, all the finding, buying, hauling, shipping, it's everything that I do. Look at that. And it's comfortable. It looks like it. The crazy part is it only weighs about 55 pounds. So really? Mm -hmm. Quite easy to pick up and move around. So those cushions didn't have any connection, they were custom made? They were custom made. Okay. Yeah, I'm real sp specific on colors on the upholstery, but you know, if somebody ever needs something like this done, I can custom design around what exactly they need to fit their space, their colors, and different things like that. And they're so well suited. I mean, it's just, they're... The lights are on again brilliant. here, but these glass lights, they just don't pop light out nearly as hard right. as, as what a lot of the plastic lenses do. Sure, but, but the lights, lights turn on, they, they all the on. lights, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look you at see this. some old AAA stickers on the bumper on that one. Oops. And it's all real patina. I don't paint anything. This is, this yeah. is as is. Oh, and that's is. just what makes it them so magical. Like, you can't help but just be captivated. They all just have their own personality. They do. They really do. And then just tell me about this piece next, next well, to it. This piece um, actually would have been rotated 180 degrees okay. and you would have hung it on your barn wall and put hay in it and there was a little tray that went underneath of it for feeding your horses okay. i just love the look of it and it's like there's got to be some ingenious way to use it so yeah. i bought it and turned it into you know it's about just the perfect height it could be you know a little eat at table or you could put a tv above it sure. or what I thought would be kind of neat if somebody really was into horses, they could put a picture of a horse in there behind it or, oh, you know, yeah. come up with multiple different things to do. Right, right. The inspiration and the whole vibe. And let's just go maybe and look at that one last in behind. Here we have the front end to a 52 Ford pickup. 52 Ford pickup. Okay. I turned it into this. a desk. I'm going to come around this side sure. so we can get a good view. A desk. Ah! Yep, so actually on the back side, there's shelving built in on either side and the fenders that you can store things and it's the right height that you can scoot a chair into. Yeah. And then when, again, when it's darker, there's actually a green light oh, in behind the it. grill to make it glow. Yeah, look, it glows. Mm -hmm. And you can take the hood off and you take the top off it so that you can get into a space. It is. It does have some decent weight to it, but it's still narrow enough you can fit it through a standard door. And everything I use is all salvage barn wood. Yeah. I don't use new wood unless somebody needs something for outdoors. I have to use cedar or something else like that. But everything is, is all salvage, repurposing everything I possibly can. Really great. And is this just your work desk or is this a nope, available I, piece as well? I sold that one last night. A okay. lady bought a piece on Thursday and she messaged me last night to see if we could find a way to get it to her. And luckily, one of the other vendors is going right by her for delivery. So he's going to take oh. it. So Lucky it's actually, her. Mm -hmm, it's going <laughs> to a barn in um, Mansfield, Massachusetts for their hangout area. So this is actually the, the top section of a utility box like they would use for a plumbing and heating company. Yeah. And the bottom of it was really bad, so I cut it off, made this cart for it to sit on. It too has puff lights in it, and there's actually shelving on the back side of it that is built in from when they built the uti utility box. Wow. But I do have the other side, so I can make another one. Yeah. And all the storage. What an amazing piece to have. Wow, this has been really wonderful. Alrighty, well, so we'll say thank you to Kyle. What an amazing business he has. And you are here at every show? I'm here at every show. Same location, booth 43 and 44 at Quaker Acres. Okay, so he's one row in from the road in the Quaker Acres field, and you want to find him. And I'll put whatever links I can attached to the video, so because um, things are wrapping up here this afternoon, but surely you can find him. And I guess there are some, I have no doubt there are some people out there who are going to want to do just that. Thanks again, Kyle, and it's been great fun. And uh, signing off for now. Glorious day at Brimfield. <laughs>